Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. So as part of this video, I will try to cover how to set up a uh, Red Hat um, virtual machine on the virtual host using um, virtual box. So for that, first we need to start the virtual box which we have installed as part of the last video and then uh, click on the new button. Uh, so to, to set up a virtual computer on your PC, uh, first you have to create a virtual host. You can name it anything. In this case, let me name it as ITVersity. And then you can choose the underlying operating system. Uh, I want to install Linux Flavor on it. And then um, I want to install Red Hat on it, Red Hat 64-bit. So here we are, uh, this will not get you a um, virtual host with the operating system running on it. We are just creating the host and we are saying that it is compatible or it will be compatible with Red Hat Linux. And then hit continue. So if you think from a physical computer, the physical computer um, core components are memory, CPU and storage and then networking and all those things. All these things will be placed on a something called motherboard and uh, then uh, um, all this, uh, the motherboard with all these components will be ported into a uh, rack and then that rack will become a physical computer. If it is laptop, um, it, it will be, uh, all those components will be deployed on um, laptop. Uh. So here also for to create the virtual host, virtual host means it, it, it will behave like a computer without physical memory which is RAM, without physical hard disk, without physical network, um, without uh, physical CPUs. So it will try to use the actual PC or host uh, resources in a virtual manner. So in this case we are trying to create virtual memory and if you see we can set up up to 16 GB. The reason is uh, uh, the uh, amount of memory I have on my PC is 16 GB so at max you can go up to 16 GB but if you give close to 16 GB then you will not have enough memory to run your PC or Mac whatever the operating system your PC or Mac have you will not be able to run those things. So ideally you should give um, less than 50% or 60% of the overall memory. In this case to install Red Hat 2 GB is good enough. So my virtual host will have only 2 GB out of the 16 GB. And then hit continue. Then it will ask to create a virtual hard disk. And um, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, as you are familiar with uh, uh, hard disks, there will be different uh, uh, types of hard disks and also in this case um, the recommended size of the hard disk is 8 GB. If you choose create a virtual hard disk now and click on create, it will ask you to choose the type of hard disk and again all these hard disks are virtual. Even in case of uh, physical hard disks also, there are different types of hard disks but you don't need to worry much about it. So in this case use the default type of hard disk, uh, virtual disk and click on continue and then it will ask you to choose whether dynamically allocated or fixed size. If you hit on continue, here you will specify the size of the hard disk. So if uh, by default it chooses 8 GB which is recommended. Uh, and uh, if you choose dynamically allocated, what happens is um, once you start using the virtual host, it will allocate the minimal amount of storage uh, to that uh, uh, host out of the size which we are going to uh, give here. So if it is 8 GB at max it can go up to 8 GB but it will not start with 8 GB. It can start with 2 GB or 3 GB whatever uh, it thinks needs to uh, use for uh, your operating system and then depending upon the usage it will add more and more storage up to 8 GB. It cannot go beyond 8 GB. If you try to store more than 8 GB it will fail. In this case I want to create with 16 GB. Okay, and I want to keep it as dynamically allocated so that I don't want to waste my storage if I don't want uh, use up to 16 GB as part of uh, uh, playing with this virtual host. If you give fixed size, it will allocate 16 GB upfront 
um, but if you don't use that 16 GB, you will waste the storage. So it's up to you whether you want to use fixed size or dynamically allocated. In uh, real uh, production scenarios, if you use the fixed size, um, the performance will be a little bit better. Uh, with dynamically allocated, it can impact the performance of your applications. So at the time of production deployments, people might prefer fixed size over dynamically allocated. But in our case, uh, on virtual uh, computers, it doesn't matter. And by using dynamically allocated, you, are, you will actually will not waste the storage. So use dynamically allocated and hit continue. And then uh, I'm going to give 16 GB here. And then create. So now the virtual host is created. Okay. And if you see, as you see the turn on button on your PC or laptop, there is a turn on button here. So you need to um, uh, turn it on. And when you turn it on for the first time, it will ask you to uh, use the virtual disk, virtual optical disk. Virtual optical disk means it's nothing but a virtual CD. Um, so you don't need to have a CD drive uh, with the ISO image. Uh, we can actually download the ISO image and we can map, uh, map it to here. So to download the required ISO Im image, you can go to Google, search for Red Hat 7, download, hit enter. You can click on this link. You need to sign up for an account. I have already account, so I'm not going to sign up here. And then you can, you need to click on uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, start evaluation. And then it will show this one. You can click on uh, uh, the Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux server. Uh, if you want a developer workstation, you can use this one also. And uh, in this case, I am trying to use the 30 day evaluation of Linux server, which is recommended. And you can hit continue here. Okay, once that is done, uh, you can click on uh, installation media download the binary DVD ISO and then you will see this page here you can you need to click on RHEL 7.2 binary DVD and by clicking on download now it will start downloading it I have already downloaded on my PC so this is the uh, ISO image which is downloaded so once it is downloaded we can give this ISO image itself as a CD so you have to click on this and go to downloads and then you have to search for RHEL server which stands for Red Hat Enterprise Linux server and then click on open and then you can click on start. Once you click on start it will start installing it you just have to hit enter here. So we will be doing typical installation uh, if you want to you can also do the expert installation. Um, but for now we will do only typical installation. Expert installations will, will be covered in future in some other uh, um, uh, Red Hat related videos. In this case I, I, I am just trying to show you how virtual box can be used to create the virtual host and install operating system on that and how you can use it as a PC. So now it has prompted and before uh, going further you need to understand that the window which you are seeing here which it is which is moving is called as um, virtual box console or vm uh, virtual machine console or vm console and uh, by default uh, if you click on that you will uh, the control will be limited to this window which is virtual machine console and if you want to come out of it and uh, do certain activities on your mac or pc uh, on Mac, you have to hit Control and Command button. Command button is the button which is there on both sides of spacebar, and then only you will be able to come out of this um, uh, console. And again, if you want to go back to the console, just click on that, and you will be within the console. Only you can perform the uh, activity on the console. And here, if you scroll down by coming out of the virtual machine console and then click on it, you can hit continue, which means it uses United States English. 
and then you have to choose certain things uh, installation source we have already selected uh, uh, CD image which is ISO image and software selection it by default it does minimal install minimal install means you will get only the command line interface for your Linux you will not be able to um, use the uh, graphical user interface features such as Windows in Linux or genome uh, uh, graphical user interface for that reason you have to select that uh, you have to click on that and then choose server with GUI and then you can use whatever technologies uh, you want to uh, implement on top of this virtual machine so I'm not going to choose all these things because if you choose all these things um, the more features you choose uh, the more time it will take to for the installation and we can add these things later also once you choose server with GUI just click on done and uh, then uh, you have to uh, give the installation destination installation destination is nothing but a virtual disk here which is already selected we have given 16 GB to that so you just click on done and then you have to configure network and host name in this case I want to give uh, host name as red hat 7 dot it varsity ok and then uh, I want to enable the internet by clicking on this or ethernet by clicking on this you don't need to do any uh, additional configuration and then you just click on done now you can click on begin installation while installing you can also reset the password for the root user so while installing it is very tough to manage the uh, cursor on the console if you see it is blinking and it I am not able to go to the root password here so I will wait until uh, the installation is done it will take a while So now the installation is done and uh, I have to reset the root password. Click on done and then click on finish configuration. So once uh, the configuration is also done, you can reboot the virtual machine. So when it reboot, it will come up with the uh, Red Hat 7. So we already have a virtual host with RAM, storage, etc. And then we have installed operating system also. So if you want to change the settings on, on the VM, you can shut it down. I will show you once it is uh, once it is started once I register uh, to use uh, uh, the Red Hat and uh, first time it will ask you to accept the license in this case if either it will ask you at the command prompt level or at the OS level if it asks you at command prompt level here you have to choose one and uh, you have to accept the license agreement by typing two and hit enter and now you can say continue continue and then it will start bringing, uh, bringing up your virtual host with Red Hat sometimes it will ask you uh, directly on the uh, GUI itself but sometimes if you press any key it might ask you at the command prompt level also and now you have to click on next here sorry I mean I need to use English of United States English make sure you use the appropriate language click on next click on next click on next so if you want to connect your online uh, cloud based accounts such as Google Windows Live or anything you can choose to do so but in this case I am just skipping them and here I am creating a, a local account other than root on uh, on this uh, uh, machine 
so my full name i am giving it varsity and your name is also it varsity click on next and then you can give the password here so this password is for i user it varsity earlier we have given password for root and then you are all set you can click on start using red hat linux server and it will bring the nice graphical user interface with uh, uh, with all capabilities to browse the internet and all those things so this is a virtual host which has linux operating system on it now if you want to browse you can actually go click on applications click on uh, firefox web browser and it will open up web browser in that and you will be able to access internet by going to the pages you want such as google etc okay so that being said earlier we have configured memory and uh, storage um, i have a pretty powerful mac it has eight cores or two cpus which are quad cores so eight it is similar to eight cpus if i want to change the resources what i can do is i can uh, shut down the host A any resource changes you can do it only when the host is down so i'm uh, set, uh, shutting down the virtual host not uh, my mac but uh, the virtual host you can click on machine and you can say sorry i think what you have to do is you have to go to virtual box choose this one here and then right click go to close and click on power off and your virtual host will go down once it goes down you can click on settings and you can access all the resources you can change the name if you want in this case i want to name it as uh, red hat 7.it varsity and uh, then i want to change the uh, system settings if you want uh, to change the memory you can increase or decrease the memory here if you want to uh, increase the cpus you can do that here here i want to give two cpus instead of one and uh, storage if you want to change you can go here and click on this and uh, i think uh, the the storage option we have selected will not let us to increase the size so you can't actually increase the size you can uh, add more drives and you can pro provide more storage anyway and then click on okay now if you bring it up it will come up with two cpus 2 gb storage and 16 gb hard drive and now if you click on if you right click on this and click on show in finder it will show you it will take you to the virtual box directory uh, on our uh, uh, pc if you see there is a file called dot vdi which is nothing but a virtual hard disk in our case in our case virtual disk and you can see now it is taking up 3.31 gb storage okay so the more you use it can go up to 16 gb because we have given virtual storage of 16 gb while creating the vm if you want you can mo add more hard disks if you are familiar with linux you can add more hard disks and you can mount it and you can start using it similar way you can create more virtual disks and you can use those things so all those things can be done using uh, virtual box uh, to leverage the virtualization technology to create a virtual host with the desired um, uh, environment such as red hat even windows etc so that being said that's it uh, for now i hope you enjoy the content if you like this uh, video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to uh, get more information about uh, the content i am uploading you can join my linkedin or facebook groups or page uh, or you can like my facebook page all our it varsity and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see lot more content like this over time thank you bye